This is Ruben with NYY News coming in uh, with some breaking news here. So last night I had made a video talking about how, you know, there's a certain uh, pictures that we should be going after, uh, making sure that ace level pictures, right? So now that Luis Castillo is gone, I did mention that at the moment there was no indication yet from the Giants that they would trade Carlos Rodon. Well, guess what? They have now officially said they're willing to hear on pretty much all of their veterans, um, except like Webb, who was one of their younger pitchers that is under control. So at this moment, I think that should be the Yankees' number one target. Um, with Montas as like the fallback. Now, this is the this is the situation that we, we're going on here with Montas. And when it comes to Rodon, Rodon signed a two-year contract with the Giants, but he has an opt-out. So, and, and given that he's pretty much stayed healthy this year, if he finishes the year healthy, he's most likely going to opt out. So, he'd be more like a rental. Now, Montas is not a rental. He's, he's under control for one more year. So we would have him for the rest of 2022, and we'll have him for the entire 2023 season. So that's that's the dilemma the Yankees are running into right now. Montas makes a lot less money, but at the same time, it, given the history of the ballpark uh, being favored by left-handers, which when it comes to like left-handed hitters, left-handed pitchers, you know, the reason why you know you want to get left-handed pitchers so they can limit the left-handed hitters. Uh, because left handed hitters do better in Yankee Stadium, obviously. So, I really believe that Montas should be that target. Montas, uh, sorry, not Montas, Rodon. Rodon should be that that um, that target. Because Rodon is a lefty, throws gas, throws 97, 98. He's a bulldog in the mound. Um, and I think that's the one. And, and also, it could he could potentially cost a few less prospects because he's going to be viewed more as a rental because he has that opt out. Um, with Montas, the A's may want to maximize a, a little bit more, but Castillo's deal with the Mariners has really set the market for pitching. So it's a seller's market right now. It's it, it favors the, the team that is selling. So um, I really think that you know, Rodon is the way to go. It may help us save one one additional prospect, you know. Um, he's more dominant. Um, you look at all his stats, he's, he's, he's amazing. Montas, you know, again, Montas is good, especially against the Astros, 1.99 ERA against the Astros. But I, uh, Rodon is the one to go. Um, but also, you know, um, when it, uh, I had a friend of mine who who said, you know, the, the Red Sox could sell too. And, you know, the Red Sox could be the key to crowning the next champion in in, 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 in this trade deadline. If they if you get the hitters going in the right places or even the pitchers, they got a Valdi, you know, they got a uh, Pavetta. Valdi's dominated us in, in the past. So, you know, that's why I really believe that the Yankees must get a real, real, like, ace-level pitcher. Because, you know, the Red Sox players that they could be traded away could have a huge impact down the stretch uh, um, in the playoffs. And, you know, if we end up meeting up against the Evaldi, you know, we want to make sure that we're strengthened as much as possible. I know Evaldi is not like a super ace, but he, he, he brings his A game against us. So that's something. And, you know, you got like Martinez. Martinez is a really good hitter as well. You put him in, in a stacked lineup. You know what I mean? So, um... I really believe that Rodon is is the top target. He's the best pitcher of all of them. Um, but if, if I had to stack it up in order, it would be Rodon, Montas, then Lopez. Um, ironically, one's a rental when you have for one year, one you have for two more years. Um, so you know, like uh, the, the lower option in Lopez does have the longer term fit in terms of finances. But if we want to win now, which is what we're supposed to be doing, 
given how amazing Judge has been playing and everything, and and in his contract situation, we need to go for Rodon. Rodon is is the is the top target. He should be the he should be that co ace. If if anything, maybe the ace because the way um, Cole has crapped the bed against bad teams, good teams um, in Boston, like uh, Cole had. It's a home run machine when it comes to giving them up. He's he started 63 63 games as a Yankee, and has given up 56 home runs. That's basically if you put a full season of 34 starts, that's 30 home runs given up. We need we need better from Cole. Cole needs to stop with that, and don't always look for the strikeout. You know what I mean? Like there's times where like depending on the situation, just get the freaking ground ball. Use your defense. You got a, a like amazing defense behind you. Use it, and then obviously you want to strike everybody out and everything. But sometimes you know save some bullets, bro. Like you, like freaking get a ground ball and, and get deep into the game. You know, like you you you. He mentioned in the All Star game. Oh yeah, Alcantara's doing his thing, man. And I said, well, why don't you pick up a few things from Alcantara? Because Alcantara is going seven almost every, every night. Alcantara is on pace for, to pitch two hundred forty innings. So why isn't Cole able to do the same? I mean, he's going to pay $36 million a year. He throws gas, has all the stuff, has the body type, everything. So he, need, he needs to switch it up when it comes to his mindset. And and try to get up your ground balls, man. Like, like get, get your defense involved. And 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 get get in, deeper into the game and then save that gas and strike out, you know, the last few batters in the game. Um... But anyways, I'm not trying to rant about Cole here, but it just it's it's, it's annoying. It's annoying. Um, and at this point, Rodon could be an ace that uh, that surplants Cole for this season, uh, unless if Cole finally uh, brings his A game. So, anyways, um, we got the news. Rodon is available. Time to go get him. Um, I've been seeing it around Twitter. I know um, Pete's team um, at NYY News TV uh, mentioned that. You know, Jack Peterson would be a good fit. Um, I think that would be actually a really, really good fit, given how Jack um, excels in October as well. So, you know, we need we need some playoff performers. Um, but yeah, so that that's pretty much all I got. Um, let's keep it posted, man. The, the deadline's coming up. Big moves are happening. You know, we had the, uh, per, uh, David Peraza go to the Rays. Um, so. You know we're not gonna get him. You know that's that's that, that that's one guy I was thinking that could go to the you know to us uh, before Benintendi. So I'm glad that we got Benintendi though. Uh, that's the that's the that's the guy I wanted. So I mean I'm biased too because I give I give the dude an Uber ride. So like I, I'm always thinking like oh dang I, I give a Yankee a ride. So but um, that's it guys. Uh, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And then uh, comment down below, you know, uh, I'll be active in the comments, um, you know, and let's see what you guys think. Um, pretty sure a lot of you like Rodon, but, you know, we'll see, we'll see. I want to see, I want to see what you guys are thinking. All right, this is Ruben, Ruben with NYY News, and till next time, peace.